everybody, today I'm going to show you how to use Sketchbook Free Edition to draw cock comb flowers and butterfly. 今天给大家讲一下怎么用 Sketchbook 这个免费的 app 来画鸡冠花和蝴蝶。Choose fine green under pastel. 选择彩色蜡笔下面的细粒状。Increase the size to 250. 把大小升到250。Decrease the dilution to 0%. 把稀释降为 0%。Switch to red color R89. 换成红色 R89. Tap to make a flower shape. 点出一朵花的形状。We repeat the same process from darker red R59 to medium red R14 to create the first red coxcomb flower. 我们用同样的方法，从深红色 R 5 9开始，一路画到棕红色 R 1 4来画出第一朵红色的鸡冠花。Move the draft drawing layer above the flower layer so we can see the flower shape. 把草稿层挪到花的图层的上面，这样我们可以看到花的形状。Change to hard eraser under legacy. 换成旧版下面的印象皮擦。We use the eraser to trace the flower shape. 我们用橡皮来勾勒一下花的形状 ，then erase more to expand the erased area. 然后把涂掉的地方扩张一下。Move the draft drawing layer to the bottom. 把草稿涂层拖到最下面。Increase the brush size to 50. 把笔刷的大小升到五十。Don't forget to switch back to the red flower layer. 记得换回到红花的涂层。Erase everything outside the flower. 把花朵外面全部涂干净。Duplicate the flower layer, the merge. 复制花朵的涂层，然后合并。Create a new layer at the top. 在上面新建一个涂层。We started from darker pink color RV99 all the way to medium pink color RV04 to create a second coxcomb flower. Use fine green to create, hard eraser to shape, then duplicate and merge the layer. 在上面新建一个涂层。第三朵鸡冠花，我们从 Y 2 8开始画起，一直画到浅黄色 Y 2 1但是其中的明黄色 Y 0 6 0 4 1 3和02是不用的。用细粒状来画，印象皮擦来造型，最后复制合并涂层。Create a new layer at the top。在上面新建一个涂层。Switch to color black， 换成黑色。Choose paint brush one under traditional. 选择传统下面的笔刷一。Let's draw the leaves for the yellow flower. 让我们来给黄色的花朵画一下叶子吧。Then create a new layer above. We use this layer to draw the leaves at the front. 在最上面新建一个涂层来画前面的叶子。Switch to hair under artist. 选择艺术画笔下面的头发。Smudge both leaf layers until you do not see any lines. 在两个叶片的涂层上面抹一抹，直到你看不到任何的笔触。Choose hard eraser under legacy. 换成旧版下面的印象笔擦。Move the draft drawing layer to the top so we can see the shape of the leaves. 把草图挪到最上面，这样我们就能看到叶片的形状了。Use the eraser to shape the leaves in both layers. 用橡皮擦出两个涂层里面叶片的形状来。Switch to soft eraser， 换成软橡皮擦。Decrease the size to minimum， 把它的大小变到最小。We use this eraser to separate the leaves and also create the mid ribs for the leaves. Create two new leaf layers above the pink flower. Use paint brush one to create, hard eraser to shape. And then soft eraser to draw the mid ribs and separate the leaves. 在红色花朵上面新建两个叶片的涂层，用笔刷一来画，印象皮擦来造型，软橡皮擦来画叶脉，并把连在一起的叶片分开。We switch the background color to black temporarily. 我们把背景涂层的颜色暂时变成黑色。Create a new layer at the top. 在最上面新建一个涂层。Change to color white. 选择白色 Switch to technical pen under basic. 选择基本下面的针笔 We trace the wings of the butterfly. 我们来勾勒一下蝴蝶的翅膀 Enable fill from the top. 在上面打开填充 Tap twice to fill each of the wings. 每个翅膀里面点两下来填充白色 
Create a new layer at the top. Let's draw the body, head, and the tentacles of the butterfly. Use the fill tool from the top to fill the head and the body with white color. Switch to bleeding watercolor under artist. 选择艺术画笔下面的溢出水彩笔 Decrease the size to 50, then decrease the dilution to 0%. 先把大小降到50然后把稀释降为 0% Choose blue green color BG23. 选择蓝绿色 BG23. Lock the wings layer. 把翅膀的涂层锁定 Tap the center of the wings. Then switch to blue color B34. 换成蓝色 B34. Tap the edge of the butterfly wings. 给翅膀的边缘上色 Lock the body layer. 把身体的涂层锁定 Tap to color the body layer. Switch background color to RV40. 把背景涂层的颜色换成 RV40. The leaves looks perfect to me, but the flowers are a little bit flat. 叶子看上去真是画得太好了，但是花呢有点平。Choose fine grain， 选择细粒状。Change to orange color YR09， 换成橘红色 YR09。Give some shady area to the yellow flower， 在黄花上面打一下阴影。Lock the pink flower layer， 把粉色的花朵涂层锁定。Choose the hot pink color above white。Give some highlights to the pink flower。把红色的花朵涂层锁定。Choose color red， 选择大红色。Give some highlights to the red flower， 给红色的花朵打一下高光。Which color of the coxcomb flower that you think the butterfly going to pick？ 你觉得蝴蝶会选哪一种颜色的机关花呢？要不要来个一键三连 ？Thank you for watching. Let's do it together. Bye.